Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. On today's episode of James and Paul Try It All, we're gonna check out Bugsy and Meyer's Steakhouse here at the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. Now there are so many steakhouses in Las Vegas to choose from. We're excited to try this one out because we've never been here before, but we've heard some solid uh, reviews. So hopefully it lives up to the hype that we've heard. Let's head inside, check it out on today's episode of James and Paul Try It All. If you enjoy seeing more food, fun, and travel in the Las Vegas area and beyond, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay up to date on all of our future adventures. It really helps us be seen by more people and viewers like you. So after checking in, they uh, direct you to this nice little seating area. Uh, I, love, I love a restaurant with cute little couches to wait at. So nice little touch. Uh, we're really excited to do this. Like I said, we love steakhouses. Uh, so I'm excited to see what Bugsy and Myers has to offer. As we were getting seated at Bugsy and Myers Steakhouse, we couldn't help but notice this was a steakhouse that had decor with a Miami flair. It really fit the theme of the Flamingo. There was also live music and a lounge attached to the restaurant. Overall, this is a lovely place for an upscale meal when you're visiting the Flamingo. They also had all of the standard steakhouse classics, and we were excited to see what quality they could provide. Alrighty folks, we've been seated at Bugsy and Myers. We've ordered some cocktails and they've just arrived. I ordered the Bramble On, which is Empress 1908 Indigo Gin, Tattersall Blueberry Liqueur, Lemon Juice, and Mint. So this is basically a lemon blueberry gin drink. I'm very excited. Let's give it a little shot. That is good. This is a wonderful cocktail. It, you taste the gin, but it's not super overpowering. It adds just a nice little bit of gin flavor to it. The blueberry liqueur comes through perfectly. The lemon juice adds a nice little bit of tartness, and then the mint just complements it perfectly. This is a $24 cocktail. I can't say I'm going to be drinking a few of these at the price that they're at, so I'm going to enjoy this one thoroughly. That'll probably be my only cocktail tonight. All right, for my cocktail, I went with the Prisoner of Love. It is Kettle One, Saint Germain, Guava, and Strawberry Puree with Lemon Simple Syrup, and it has a beautiful little orange garnish here. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. That is delightful. <gasps> you can definitely taste the guava, the strawberry, it just brings a nice sweetness to the cocktail. Also, the Saint Germain adds just a little bit of tartness. I definitely recommend ordering a Prisoner of Love if you are here at Bugsy and Myers. Okay, folks, our first starter has arrived. We've gone with the fresh baked breadboard, which includes a black garlic truffle butter, a smoked sea salt honey butter, and a garlic herb butter. Now, this is an adorable little board here. I am excited to dig in. Of course, I love a sourdough bread. So let's grab one of these guys here. Let's start with a little bit of the black garlic truffle because it wouldn't be Vegas without truffle everywhere on everything. They really love their truffle in Vegas. Oh, oh, yeah. Warm, soft. Mm, that's good. That's quite good. Sourdough is baked perfectly. Perfect proof. Mm, doesn't even need butter in my opinion. All right, let's try the smoked sea salt. Uh, honey butter, delightful. I love smoked sea salt. We always keep a giant tub of molden smoked sea salt at home. It goes great on anything. Especially, we like to use it on baked goods a lot, especially chocolate chip cookies. It really adds a whole new depth of flavor. Last but not least, we're gonna try the garlic herb butter. Herby, garlicky, exactly what I expected. Nothing wrong with any of those. This sourdough is so good. I just didn't even really need the butter. You could literally bring me the loaf of this bread without butter and I would be very happy still. So, hats off to Bugsy and Myers for making a solid sourdough loaf. We are going to start with the hand-cut beef tartare. Now, this beef tartare comes with creme fraiche, sous vide egg yolk, served with a little bit of whole grain mustard. It's served in a nice little loaf. You know, normally when we order beef tartare, it is served in a nice little pucker ring. <laughs> this comes in a whole loaf. Let's give it a taste. That is lovely. There are just so many complex flavors in this. You have the beef, 
The creme fresh comes through nice and cool. It all just blends together perfectly. And the texture is perfect, as with any type of tartare. Let's go ahead and try it with a little bit of the whole grain mustard. The mustard adds a bit of acidity that just rounds out the flavor of that tartare. I highly recommend this tartare if you are here at Bugsy & Miners. This is easily one of the best beef tartars I've ever had in my life. I could make a meal out of this alone. Just bring me like two plates of this, I'd be good. But we are at a steakhouse. It's important we, you know, try other things. But in the meantime, yeah, this is good. So after our first course, we decided to go with a second course. We have a Caesar salad here. Now it looks like an amazing Caesar salad built from more than one person. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. The romaine has a nice bright freshness to it. The Caesar dressing has a nice briny flavor. Let's go ahead and get one of these croutons here. The croutons have a nice crispy texture and you can get a little bit of saltiness. There's also a little bit of nuttiness from the Parmesan cheese. This is overall a great Caesar salad. We also uh, went with a lobster bisque. Now, I love a lobster bisque. This looks delightful. Let's tuck it in. Creamy. Can't wait to give this a shot. It's very hot. That is delightful. The lobster flavor is present. It's not abundant. The tomato is adds a little bit of acidity. Very flavorful. It's creamy. It just gently travels down uh, your, your, your gullet there. I do wish there was a little bit more lobster, but beyond that, no complaints. All right, our entrees have arrived. We're gonna start by tasting the Wagyu braised beef short rib. It comes with a Parmesan pappardelle. I love short rib. If you've watched other videos by us, you probably have heard me talk about it being one of my favorite cuts. Immediately, I, I can smell that incredibly beefy, strong flavor as soon as I cut into that. There we go, look at that. Let's see how this is. That is buttery and flavorful, rich, that incredibly strong, beefy flavor that short rib is known for. Nice little microgreens here add a touch of pepperiness to, pepperiness to it. The outside is seasoned perfectly. Just a nice little bit of char to it. Let's try the Papadelli. This looks like it is likely made by hand. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like you're akin to a fr Alfredo sauce. I, you know, um, which really is a Parmesan sauce. The Papadelli is obviously, obviously handmade. It's tender, chewy, perfectly al dente, creamy pasta. Absolutely good. This is a solid, a solid choice if you're not feeling a, a steak uh, here at Bugsy and Myers. We also ordered the 20 ounce dry-aged bone-in ribeye seasoned with their signature house rub. We ordered this medium rare. It's served with a nice little shishito pepper here. So let's go ahead and carve this and see what flavors we can unlock. That has some nice marbling on the ribeye. That is all fat. <laughs> let's cut in off of this side here. Now I will say one thing about the steak knife, it is not that sharp. This ribeye is a little hard to cut. <laughs> there we go. That is a beautiful inside to the ribeye. It is a perfect medium rare. Let's give it a taste. Wow, that is juicy. It is cooked perfectly. And part of the process is they sear it in a 1200 degree broiler just to lock in all of those juices. Now this steak has a perfect marbling because there's a nice bat to meat ratio in there. That is a perfect ribeye. Probably one of the better ribeyes that I've had. We also ordered uh, the Brussels sprouts for our side. I love Brussels sprouts, especially when they're cooked well. These look nice and charred and crispy. Delightful, I'm very excited. Let's give it a taste. There's a wonderful sweetness. I'm not sure exactly what they season it with, but this is good. Uh, so if you do enjoy Brussels sprouts, this is a great choice for our side. They have all the classic steakhouse options, mac and cheese, potato puree, potato gratin, asparagus. But this is a great option if you're looking for something lighter on carbs.
All right, folks, we have just wrapped up our dinner at Bugsy and Myers, and I have to say that was an exceptional meal. Uh, the food was great. The staff was wonderful. We definitely want to give a shout out to our server, Kevin, who took excellent care of us. So much good care. Yeah. He was an amazing server all around. Yeah, all while uh, unfortunately dealing with a bit of a, a male Karen, uh, like two tables over from us. Uh, so thank you, Kevin, for just being really on top of it and taking such great care of us. We also appreciate the complimentary champagne at the end of our meal uh, in celebration of our birthdays. Uh, my husband and I have a, our birthday a week apart from each other. So uh, this was a little bit of a birthday celebration for us and it was a, a great way to do it. Yeah. I cannot say enough that ribeye steak was amazing it was a good ribeye it was a very good ribeye i thought the beef short rib was good but i don't know if i would choose that one again now however it was a good alternative to a steak but i think if i were to come here again you know we might just order a steak each because the steaks were that good yeah, yeah. but we also wanted to show you a few different options exactly uh the uh Brussels sprouts were delicious the lobster bisque the caesar salad all super super yummy uh, no complaints from me. So my final thought is if you're looking for a classic steakhouse and you're here at the Flamingo, Bugsy and Myers is the place to be. Yeah. All in all, our bill came to a grand total of uh, $334, if I remember correctly, uh, which in the grand scheme of uh, steakhouses is about on, on par, yeah, especially, about for, on par. especially for Las Vegas. Uh, so this was kind of what we expected, uh, especially uh, for the quality we got. Again, no complaints. However, we do realize that is not in everyone's budget. It is an expensive meal. We don't always eat like this, only when we're really on vacation uh, or celebrating a special occasion. So, Such as a birthday. Such as a birthday. <laughs> a birthday on vacation. That being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and uh, leave us some love in the comment section. Tell us, uh, what do you like to do for your birthday? What's your favorite restaurant to go enjoy uh, a birthday meal at? And uh, other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we appreciate it. We have new episodes every week at 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time on Saturdays. And then we have our Slop Play Sunday series every Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks again.